What is going on, everyone? What is going on, everybody? By the way, you all like my mount? This mount is sick, by the way. And it was only 35k gold. Nobody bid more for it. Those suckers didn't bid. Imagine that. I haven't seen this chair drop in hundreds of Thaymine runs. So I have no clue. It looks sick. Anyways, also, if you haven't noticed yet, ooh, Makoko General title. It's so pretty. This was so worth helping the Makokos. But fear not, I am not stopping. I will continue to help my fellow new and returnees on my streams. Now, let's actually talk about what I wanted to talk about today. The Ignite server, my final thoughts. I wanted to make this video because I kind of wanted to make it clear that overall, this was a net positive to AGS. <gasps> no way! No edit any actually supporting AGS for once? Alright guys, calm down, calm down. I support AGS, okay? This is not for a sponsorship, by the way, even though I would love one, nudge nudge, wink wink. But seriously... I think besides this Makoko Bootcamp event fiasco and the bugs fiasco, I really just wanted to say that as someone who has done a lot of things in the Ignite server and got to meet my amazing community on the Ignite server, this was definitely a step in the right direction. For one, they really surprised me with the Arkesia tour. It was not too difficult to do those quests and the rewards for doing them were massive this was one of the biggest things i was looking for before ignite server came out how well are they going to deal with the horizontal aspect of things or the arkeesia tour it was very nicely done because it gave people just a taste of how they are normally supposed to be doing these horizontals on the legacy server without overwhelming them with some of the nasty nasty ones speaking of nasty blood claw fragment uh, that's uh, something that got me concerned again about how we will be using the horizontal system in the future but anyways arkeesia tour very good i remember in jumpstart i was struggling to get the correct runes and skill points to even be able to play my class somewhat which should never be the case anyway let's also talk about the honing aspect of ignite server i'm not sure if this was intended but getting to the 1580 item level and completing all those white quests like entering kaingel and doing the chaos dungeons and guardians were perfect those mats that they gave you were chef kiss no matter how much you pitied as long as you did those quests for each character, doesn't matter. You never ran out of materials at to, to get to 1580. I really appreciate that because 1580 should definitely be extremely easy to get first before trying for the 1620 push. I'm also glad that they never decided to remove the whole method, or some people call it an exploit. I don't really call it an exploit. A method of just infinitely farming characters, deleting them, recreating them to 1580 for the 2000 bound gold. This helped greatly with getting a lot more transcendence before transferring and also getting to 1620 faster. Now, was that whole methodology and exploit intended? Probably not, right? They probably didn't expect that, but to decide to ignore it and let it be was really nice of them. Because let's be honest, they most definitely knew about it. Now, in terms of Party Finder, this is where I was slightly disappointed, but it was expected. I barely saw any prog lobbies, nor people willing to teach. But I get it. It is not our job to teach, and it is not our job to help in general. But for the Ignite server lobbies to just show homework reclears on every single lobby was not very amazing to see. 
Again, I get it. I get it. People want to just get their gold and funnel it to their mains. I get it. I'm just simply saying how it made me feel to see all those lobbies. Please, no attackerinos in the comment section. One thing I will say though, and I'll show this, this one is actually unacceptable. I actually laughed outside when I saw this right here. Normal Dark Baratrin. So this is they mine. Gate 2 to 3 reclear elixir check. COS slash EOT. <laughs> Looking for DPS and support. Ain't no freaking way. Right? Like, ain't no freaking way. They want COS title people for their thing mind. Like, first of all, how do you even know? And then second of all, are you actually making people go to their legacy account, take a screenshot of their title, and then report back? Just imagining people doing that to prove their worth was hilarious to me. And what do you know? Their lobby was stuck at 3 out of 8 for the longest time. They were even jailed in gate 2. So you already know they took a hot minute to fill up. It seems like, oh, you have COS equals gate 2 jail. Yeah, I'll pass, I'll pass, but I guess you could do whatever you want. But let's get on to the last point here. The transfer process itself. Honestly, the transfer process would be much worse than I expected, especially with all the bugs that have been going on, but it wasn't. Yes, yes, I know, I know that there were still bugs associated with the transfer, but nothing so crazy or game-breaking. Two things I will say is AGS. Number one, next time we have a transfer, transfer like this, I do not want to be reminded about my awful time in literature class. Like that class was actually such a toxic style of teaching now that I look back on it and I don't want to be forced to be using periods anymore. Let me have bad grammar in peace. And number two, we need to really not have the character and the roster, roster transfer like side by side like that you know what i mean it feels like if you don't read carefully because let's be honest who reads nowadays am i right then you could easily mess up the transfer process but other than that i felt like the transfer process was extremely smooth and the rewards were very very generous so round of applause to ags for that overall i think the ignite server went above expectations from what i thought but all that good has been overshadowed by the bugs and exploits and Makoko boot camp event. So it's a shame it's not getting the positive feedback I expected to see. So I decided to make this video. Again, I know, I know that there are a lot of things that can definitely be improved that they should address. But we have to get there one step at a time, it seems. So for now, let's just say Ignite Server was a blast. At least for me. I had a very positive experience with Ignite Server. So thank you, AGS, for that. But that is the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching my beautiful pineapple gang. Today's word is bird. All right. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.